Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, a quick tip for fixed wing INAV pilots that will make your throttle a bit easier to understand. So some of you guys have noticed that when you're flying, particularly in like cruise mode or auto launch, somewhere where it's using an automatic throttle, that it doesn't quite tie up to the values you set in configurator. And the reason for this is there is throttle scaling going on. Now, us being fixed wing, we don't really care about throttle scaling whatsoever. It's more for quads where they need a bit of overhead. It's mainly for the PID loop. We don't care about it. We just want our throttle to be you know, zero to a hundred percent. So what we're going to do in this video is get rid of the scaling. So let's get into configurator and I'll show you what the default values are and what we're going to change. Right. So the first place we're going to look is outputs. And you'll see here we have this idle motor power, and this is set to 5%. This is the default values when you do the defaults dialog, where you select either aeroplane with or without a tail, it sets this to 5%. The other value we're interested in is actually in the CLI, but we'll get into that later. Let me just tell you, it's max underscore throttle, and it's set to 1850 by default. What we're gonna do first is check advanced tuning. And we're going to see a couple of values in here that we're going to check out in a minute in a flight simulation. I've got my flight controller hooked up. The transmitter is working with it and I'm going to run it through the hardware in the loop so we can actually see what happens on an OSD. I've set some values for auto launch. So we have 60% throttle for the idle and I'm hoping that in uh, the hardware in the loop, this will actually allow us to perform an auto launch. Um, and we've got 100% for the launch throttle. So they're two values to keep an eye out for. And over this side, we've got some values. Now, these aren't the default values. I've actually changed these. So we've got 0% uh, and 100%. These are usually, I think, 20% uh, and 80%, something like that. And we have cruise throttle, which I've got set to 30%, but usually it's 40%. The values that we're gonna be looking for is 30% in a cruise and 60% for idle and 100% for launch. So what we're gonna do is jump into the hardware in the loop and check that out. Right, so we're in the hardware in the loop and we're gonna to attempt to do an auto launch. It may not work, but we'll give it a go. So you can see the throttle I have here and that's what we're really interested in in this flight. So if you remember the auto launch idle throttle was 60% and the launch throttle was 100%. So let me try and do an auto launch. So we'll put that in the right place. We'll arm it, select the exit mode and we'll raise the throttle. So um, there we go, idle's kicked in, but you can see it's 69 and not uh, 60. 100% is displaying correctly, but I'm guessing that's because it's overestimating. So the auto launch has worked, but you saw the idle was wrong. So we're now in Loiter, which uses auto throttle. Let me knock the throttle all the way down. This should be at 30%, but you can see we're around 39, 40%. Let me put it in cruise and we'll see what that does. We're flying straight, so that's a, a lot more likely to not need extra throttle rather than holding it in the bank. But you can still see we're around 40, 42% throttle. Now I don't have wind set up on this, so let me do a 90 degree bank and we'll see what it's like going in that direction. It could be that we're fighting wind and maybe the ground speed is um, set so that it needs a bit more throttle. So let's go that way. It's lowered a little bit, but it's still about the same. So let's go back the other way. And we'll let it sort of even itself out. But you can see we are definitely cruising around 40% when we actually set it to 30%. Now this is the throttle scaling and what we can do actually, if I get a lot of altitude, we could probably change the setting in flight. Let's give it a go, why not? Yeah, this is definitely the slow wing. <laughs> right, so let me lower the throttle, we'll disarm. 
Let's see if we can get in the OSD menu quickly. And we'll go to features, navigation, fixed wing, auto launch. So yep, yeah, we know that that's right. Cruise, yeah, you can see it's set to 1300 throttle. Uh, am I gonna be able to get out of here? <laughs> right so there you go you can actually go through the menu in flight if you really want to um i wouldn't recommend it but you can see we'll go back into cruise it was definitely set to 1300 but we are actually cruising at about 40 percent throttle when it when it um when it evens out so there we go we're up it hops between sort of 38 and 42 percent so what can we do to fix this as i said at the beginning we're not a quad we don't care about the extra overhead needed for the pid controller for our throttle let's get it working with a fixed wing so we're back at iNav configurator so let's just enter the flight controller and the first page we're going to go to is outputs now, before you do this, take off your props. Um, I've done this with all my aircraft and it's been fine, but I would recommend erring on the side of safety. So just make sure that you take your props off before trying this. As I said, it should all be fine. I've, a lot, I know a lot of people that have done this, I've done it on all mine and it's all been good. Just make sure that stop motors on low throttle is enabled. Um, and what we're going to do is set this to zero. Now we're just going to save it. We can do this in the CLI. And what I'll do is in the description, I'll put the two CLI commands that will actually sort this out for you. So that's the first thing we're going to change is motor idle for power to 0%. Now we're going to jump into the CLI. We'll wait for the auto cache to complete. And what we're going to do is do get throttle. and we're after this max throttle. So that's the first one on, on my list. So we can copy that and we'll go set max throttle to 2000. So the idle throttle you can actually set in here as well, which is this idle underscore throttle, set that to zero. As I say, I'll put the two commands in the video description. Now. What I'm going to do is save this and we're going to pop back into advanced tuning because I want to point something out before we continue. Right, so here we are at advanced tuning. Now the bit I wanted to mention is here. You have these settings for min throttle and max throttle. These are not what you adjust for the scaling. These are how much throttle the autopilot can use. So don't just change these values and assume it will work. This is actually how much power you're allowing the flight controller to have. So for example, if you only ever want the flight controller to use a maximum of 60% throttle, you can set that to 1600 here. That's completely separate to the amount of throttle that you can use in manual or how, how much throttle can be used in any other system. That's purely for if you're in RTH, cruise, that sort of thing, uh, loiter, waypoint missions that's just the maximum it can use so don't change those expecting it to do the scaling that's a completely different setting the two settings that need changing are the ones in output and then max underscore throttle which is in cli only it these maybe should be renamed to make it a bit more clear but anyway i'm not going to save and reboot we've made the changes we need to so let's get back to hawaii Right, so we're back on Hawaii. Before I came here, I did actually change the cruise throttle to 50%, just so that the wind doesn't really pay any part on this. Now, I'm hoping this works in hardware in the loop, but we'll soon find out. I know for a fact this does work on my real planes, but let's check this out. So we'll do the same thing. I'm gonna use an auto launch. So set loiter, we'll enable auto launch, we'll arm it, switch to the exit mode and raise the throttle. So hopefully auto launch will kick in. We have 60%, which is what we were asking for. Um, I need to start the engines, don't I? There we go. So hopefully auto launch will kick in. There we go. Yeah, are we going for it? No, it's not quite kicking in. <laughs> Typical. 
there we go 100% works better without brakes so the throttle is perfect on our auto launch so that is showing that the scaling is actually now working correctly so it will finish and so let me kill the throttle and we're in a loiter but because of the radius it's probably increasing the throttle to keep the plane where it is in the sky so let's find a nice direction to head in and just go for a cruise there we go so ideally this should drop to around 50 percent It's looking like hardware in the loop is struggling a bit, which is why we've got the dolphining. So hopefully that will even out soon. Yeah, this does sometimes happen with hardware in the loop, unfortunately. So let me try switching to maybe angle. Let's aim over here. And let's maybe try an auto level see if that helps it nope we're going down a lot unfortunately i can't get this working as it should do it always plays up when you're trying to do stuff right all i can say is that it does work in practice i've got it on all my aircraft and the scaling does work and the launch sequence should have proven that to a point but unfortunately if i put it back to angle you can see it's now climbing and it's it's bad data that X-Plane is unfortunately putting into the flight controller and of course that's having an effect on the throttle so if I put it in cruise it's working against stuff and the throttle isn't quite right in real life it does work absolutely fine and if you do this you will be much happier with your throttle settings and how they're shown on the OSD so let's just get this down without crashing it too much And yeah, it's a bit of a shame that I wasn't able to demonstrate this fully, but as I said, it was correct in auto launch. So that shows that the throttle scale is now correct where it wasn't before. Okay, so this is gonna be a very ropey part to this video, unfortunately. Now I'm currently flying in angle mode and looking like I'm gonna hit the ground. So let me just gain some altitude for a second. Uh, this I'm doing without anything else running. There's no video editing stuff in the background and I have actually managed to get it pretty well tuned. So we're in angle mode, which you can just see in the top corner. And this is obviously manual throttle, so I'm at 49%. I can boost it up a bit to 50. And you can see, hands off, we're at about 0 0.6 feet a second climb rate. So what I'm gonna do now is put it into cruise. I've not done anything other than uh, tune the alignment, that's it. Uh, we're in auto throttle, so what I'm gonna do is lower the throttle to nothing. And you can see the auto throttle now is sticking at 49%, which given we still have a little tiny bit of um, difference in the altitude, um, so it's working against something still, I think that's acceptable. If the angle of attack was perfect, so, you know, 0.1 to 0.2 up and down, this would be bang on the 50%. So sorry for this ropey handheld phone video at the end, but I just wanted to show that it does actually work. So all I can do is say, give this a go and see what you think. I know many people that have done this and it works perfectly for them. I think it's just an issue with the hardware in the loop on this day, possibly because I've got video stuff running in the background as well, taking up resources, and that really doesn't help with the hardware in the loop. I've done a lot of testing for stuff in iNav. It works fine. Then when you go to record it to sort of put it on GitHub, then it all goes to hell because of the extra processing needed. But anyway, I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and remember to click the subscribe button and the bell icon that will help get this video out to more people too so they can have better what well, no scaling in the throttle and also you may be alerted to videos that i've done that you may also find useful but anyway sorry about the bit of the anti-climax but it does work believe me uh, thank you very much for watching guys see you on the next one fly models like you stole them